Okay, shrub crafter. So one of the things is so my woman, as shrub cat, was thinking we were gonna do originally. I saw something different to begin with, and I was like, all right, we'll do that for my buddy Mike. But instead, the wood has spoken, and I'm not sure what you're seeing, but I'm seeing gator. So I am turning this into an alligator. So and since uh, Uncle Mike still lives in Florida, a gator is very appropriate. So that's what this is gonna be turned into. So I'm liking that and I'm digging that. So this is gonna go on here and turn into a gator. So now, one other thing is remember, safety first, last, and always. So as I'm going through, I got myself stabbed with my razor sharp shaving knife. You can still shave hairs with that coming right off. So the nice thing about a clean knife is that it's gonna cut cleanly. So it didn't go really deep, so it's actually more like, a, you know, it's not really a flesh wound. But uh, so as I'm taking care of myself and taking care of my design, you know, I did nick myself on here and that was carelessness on my part because I was talking and uh, not to the camera, but off camera, I wasn't paying attention to what I'm doing. So again, focus is everything. Uh, one of the things that I do have is I do have some alcohol inside and uh, you know, isopropyl and that is gonna be good. I'm gonna pour that into the cut and clean it right up because when you're out here hygiene matters being clean matters and having the proper stuff matters so i just figured i'd take a quick peek here it is this bk16 i've used uh you know for one other thing uh and actually that makes an awesome knife stand too so geez i'm i don't know i'm getting all excited about this i need to find a lot <coughs> excuse me i need to find a lot more wood like this but uh bk16 is actually performing uh way beyond my expectation in terms of what it is capable of and uh, how easy it's going through this hardwood um, so great perfect combination the tan scales are awesome i can see it it just kind of fits out here so great choice okay shrub crafters so here's a neat thing if you take old pump spray bottles this happens to be a recycled lush bottle uh, which is an all natural cosmetic company um, and shrub cat can uh, tell you more about that but uh, yes this is ice pro alcohol since this was all natural ingredients to begin with I'm pretty confident in putting alcohol in there this is a 70 percent isopropyl labeled properly the duct tape over the label is intentional so that you can actually write the contents on there i just happen to have a paint marker so i went over the top so spray right into the cut you can see that's not so bad you know, during the zombie apocalypse, uh, and, you know, in postmodern society, we may actually be able to uh, die from a cut like that. But uh, having ice pro alcohol on hand will help kill anything that's in there. And uh, highly recommend having that. And if you have a little pump spray bottle, it works really nicely. Okay, shrub crafters. Now that we've been doing this competition, one of the things we need to do is uh, I'm getting hungry. So we're going to make some breakfast slash lunch because it is actually lunchtime so here's some of that fat wood lightered catches pretty quickly so i've already pumped and primed this so we're going to go ahead and open two cranks like they say going to light our lighter and drop in there you go now the directions tell you to say for uh, one full minute with the lighting lever up. At one minute, you push that down. So while that's going on, I'm going to take, and we have an onion, we're gonna do some eggs. And something that you may not have thought about is how to transport eggs. I've always brought them into the woods using uh, the traditional egg in the shell and trying not to crush them and break them in the cooler. So I saw this cool little thing where you crack them ahead of time, use a funnel and get them into a bottle, throw them in there, and you've got them ready to go. So we're gonna do some onions process the onions. I'm going to use my BK39, which I have to call a BK9 because they labeled it as such. We're going to use that. Even though it's been used all over the wood, we're going to go straight into the onion with that and get some eggs. Now we've got some uh, hot dog. Here we go. Got some hot dogs that we cooked last night. It's leftover hamburgers. We're going to mix that all in and kind of have our own custom uh, omelet here in the shrub. So go ahead. If you're watching this, keep working on your incense burner project now we're gonna have a gourmet meal ready in no time so we're getting ready to cut our onions 
And there's something that I think excels exceptionally well in the shrub is going to be your handy BK9 or BK39. So look at that. Not only does it whack, not only does it cut things in half, it processes food. So Becker, an American-made knife by American Made Knife Company, by maybe an American Made Knife Maker. So, some of you who are very observant may notice that on my hands, I've got a cut that is not a knife cut. It was actually my chainsaw chisel. It was a mill bastard file, I'm sorry, not chisel. And uh, Shrub Cat asked me to sharpen or hatchet, I don't know if you can see that over here, let me see. Asked me to do that for, so while I was sharpen it, I slipped and ran the chisel, or I'm sorry, the file into my hand. Which is okay. You call it a bastard for nothing. Yeah, a little bastard for nothing, that's right. So the nice thing is though, is I still had my Isopro 70% alcohol out, sprayed a little bit on there, and we were right back in business. And frankly, if you own cats, it's no it's just a scratch no deeper than your cats will make when they decide to use you for a springboard. So, remember when using your knives against cast iron, you want to use as little pressure as possible against the actual blade because you don't want to have to resharpen the steel. Now, all of this produce and eggs that you see were raised locally by a chicken or an onion or something from either a local farmer or your local, probably, Walmart super center. So remember, if you're looking for a nice meal, why not do it at Walmart? Who does not sponsor us in any way, shape, or form? Normally I would promote real butter because it's much more healthy um, I don't know if that's uh, much better English or much gooder English. Anyway, normally we promote butter, but I will shamelessly promote this stuff right here. I'm not sure what it is because my finger covering half of it because I don't want to get in trouble with any infringement. But real butter, real eggs, real bacon from real cows and pigs is probably the way to do it. But that fits in the cooler easier. Yes, yeah, so when you are traveling, let's crank this up. really get that going. Got a lot of wind today and I forgot to turn that flip that lever down because I'm taking care of you guys. I'm trying to feed y'all breakfast. So real butter is much healthier for you than plastic butter. But plastic butter does fit in a cooler real nice. I believe these are organic onions versus the inorganic kind that you find in the grocery section next to the inorganic items. Which I'm not really sure what an inorganic item is because if they're all grown in the ground. So I do know for a fact that uh, organic just means that you're using organic pesticides. Because I'm pretty sure most food is organic. Most. So again, I wanted to show you just another great, great use of your BK9s, and that is going to be processing for breakfast. Alright, now we were able to scratch, uh, go out and scavenge in the shrub, and I found some bacon from the bacon tree. It is a native tree, uh, closely related to a pig. So, this is some leftover from that tree. We also found some leftover, completely overdone hamburger, but we did have a guest last night in the shrub camp who did like them more like shoe leather, so I'm going to take this and grind it up. Now remember, when you are in the shrub, hygiene and cleanliness is there, so make sure that you do wash your hands. I have a nice wash station and some Dawn soap. Otherwise, it is nice that if you are entertaining guests to wear gloves, especially if you don't know them, and your hygiene is not there. See, there's some burger meat that's the way it should be. Again, some leftover from last night. I'm going to 
throw some of that in just to impart some flavor into the onions because frankly, bacon and burger is good. And if you're a vegan watching this, um, I would recommend go out into the shrub and get yourself a vegan manual on plant identification. And uh, you can live off of that stuff too, and that way you can salivate along with us. I don't actually have any uh, plant matter that I really want to salivate over just yet. So this is a little harder to cut, so I'm going to go back to the BK. There you can see what a great job the BK knives do for processing very, very hard material such as this veal style sausage. That is actually a veal hot dog sausage called a coney or a cooney depending on where you're from. If you're from the south, it's a, uh, it's a Yankee thing. If you've got some scrapple or some other product you want to throw in there, I highly recommend that. Again, that's a Pennsylvania Dutch thing. And if you can't find any Pennsylvania Dutch people, you can probably find it at one of your local stores. So this is a uh, low-fat recipe that we've developed. So if you're healthy, you know, health conscious going on here, you know, we use the bacony part of the bacon tree, and that I believe is very low-fat. You know, that burger meat comes from the burger tree. The onion comes from the onion tree. And the eggs come from the chicken, of course. What do you think I was going to say? One more thing. I don't know if you noticed here, but we have some aluminum foil. So we actually dug that aluminum out of the ground and pounded it through a refining process into what you see here. And that way, we're using everything from the aluminum trees we don't want any of that going to waste so being conscious in the shrub makes you use and everything so just something to be aware of different projects you can get yourself involved in have fun with it all right now for the most important part those eggs from the chickens and here's a little interesting tidbit i'd like to share and something you may want to think about is how do you think the first person ever decided to eat a chicken egg I think a couple of guys and gals were sitting in a cave somewhere and they see this drop out of a chicken's backside and they said, dude, that looks good, I'm gonna eat it. Or do you think it's more like they were sitting around having some fun and this guy goes, dude, that just came out of the back end of a chicken. And he says, I'll tell you what, you try that and I'll give you this shiny new obsidian rock. What do you think? Leave your comments below. So I hope all you viewers at home can smell just how awesome this is. And I hope you can see that this is definitely the low fat, low carb, low anything diet that is a, a requirement when you come out and try to be all natural in the shrub. So this is almost ready. Now, unfortunately, this is giving my competition a little more time to work on their projects. So there's, yeah, they're getting slightly ahead of me, but I'm confident that with a good meal and a nap, I'll, I might end up waking up renewed and ready to go and finish strong. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm gonna run out and I got a lemon pepper tree nearby. I'm gonna put some fresh lemon pepper tree shavings onto this. And uh, I may even have a dill tree nearby. And we might even throw a little bit in because that's, uh, I think it's calling my name. Look at that shrub crafters, we are almost ready. So we call this shrub craft brunch. This is definitely kind of like uh, with the old lumberjacks, this is a shrub crafters meal. Leftover conglomeration of breakfast, lunch, and 
potentially even dinner.